Hello everyone, my name is Mitchell and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 2. <laughs> Again, one. Baldur's Gate 1. Uh, that's uh, well from the XCOM. Do I ever miss the candle keep? Mm. I think I prefer the road, to be honest. Safety and all that. Um. Food and beds and baths. I feel like I haven't had a proper bath in weeks. Uh, I mean, I'm not gonna point that out. That's uh, that's not politely. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll find baths. Maybe we all bath together. Who knows? Bathing on a freezing lake. Uh, Skin looks fantastic afterwards. Yeah, I, uh, yeah. Sure, why not? Who tried it? I had a boiled carp. Never, never found a uh, fish. Chicken. Uh, I, I would. Uh, no, no. Chicken is not the best. <laughs> uh, as long as it's edible, yeah. I don't really care what I eat. After a practical theory diet of boiled bark and grass and such, pretty much anything looks good, yeah? yeah? Yes. Can we stay at the inn tonight? Uh, probably not. This way. Depends how fast we make it to the Nazco. I mean, it's early in the morning as... Uh, it, I think that's the time. That's I think that's how the clock works. So, I mean, maybe we'll find it for the night. It's one thing what's kind of funny in these games. You never actually sleep during the nights. You just sleep whenever. And it's always eight hours. There's no... No exceptions. kind of want to engage these guys because they would be using arrows otherwise. And arrows can be very unpredictable. They could uh, shoot at one of our back guys here at any time. Yeah, I really think uh, the best setup is uh, three melee guys and three archers or ranged guys. Oh, I could have used sleep once again. And well, I think we are getting this done without a spell, so. Oh, my heart's really not in this. Maybe this would be the time to get your heart into it. You are in a fight after all. But maybe he just meant that this is very easy fight. I don't know if I actually need all the arrows. I just keep picking them, picking them, <laughs> picking them up. Uh, that's from the for original game, because back there uh, you always run out of ammo because of the smaller stack sizes. So you kind of learn to hoard ammunition like a well hoarder. Oh, what's this? It's uh, amulet. I think we can pick it up. Yes. Why you don't see it actually? What is it this time? Oh, you have all the other crap. I'm it's kind of weird how this. Uh, I guess it's called quick loot. So much work. Mm, perhaps this group needs not quite as much help as I thought. It is kind of. Well, it's a limited range from the guy you have selected, so sometimes you can miss actual things. So I don't know if I should uh, trust it so so much as I generally do. Especially if you kill the guys uh, way off from each other, it's easy to miss some more. This is a little bit more mountains than uh, what I actually thought there would be. Okay. Oh, I, 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 this is bad. 
Well, luckily this road and melee guys, so if... Oh, yes. He actually hit me. I'm gonna wait on the hill until they are dead. Oh, Finch said yikes. I was wondering what the heck that noise was. I really do like uh, Finch, but uh, I'm not gonna kick Zahira out, because I like her more. So I, I, I need to give up one of the clerics. This way. Oh, I should heal. How may I be of assistance? We still have a couple heals yep, left. I've done had enough of this. So we should be fine to continue. That's usually the point when you know you have to sleep is uh, when you run out of healing spells. <laughs> because uh, sometimes uh, it can get quite nasty. I'm just gonna check out this and uh, then... Uh, what's on the left? Uh, wilderness Lake? Probably. We are not gonna go there. I'm gone. We need to reach the Nash scale before the timeline. Uh, Zahira and Khalid will start complaining about it. If you spend too much, and I think they will actually leave the group if you if you don't go in time. Oh, my heart's really not in. At this. least that's what uh, mini, uh, not means, but uh, Montaron and Xarv. They have the same uh, quest a Eat bit. Flaming or uh, possibly frosty death. Cobalts don't seem to be a big problem anymore. It's really useful when you get uh, one guy going in the front with high, uh, high AC or I guess low in this case. So he will, uh, they won't hit him. But you need to keep your eye on uh, the possibility that they will change targets because uh, Especially after the Strata games uh, or SCS mode, um, the better a AI can really surprise you. It really makes the mages especially very very difficult, as uh, <laughs> you noticed with Silke probably. Yeah, mainly because of the sequencer, which is basically something that triggers when you are about to die, I think. I guess there's, uh, you can set manual trigger when it triggers. I don't actually know, I've never used it myself. But when it triggers, it basically casts a couple of lower level spells which you have set up, and usually it's invisibility and some heal. Is that a zombie? Uh, greetings, travelers. I'm on the way to Baldur's Gate and do not seek trouble. Oh, it's a half orc. We also don't seek trouble. Uh, he's not an Alphorg. Let's ask about him. Oh, it is Alphorg. <laughs> uh, okay. I do wonder if that was another recruitable guy. But we broad botched it. It's fine. So far, pretty much nothing in this area. That's uh, there's so many areas in this game. I really don't remember all of them that well. But it's it's usually because there's nothing in them. You just uh, wander around and found nothing, so you there's nothing to remember. Nothing to tell your grandkids. Hmm, I guess these are mountains, so you cannot even get there. Lonely peaks, huh? This way. I don't think they used to be named named in the normal vanilla Baldur's game. That's probably something the trilogy has. 
names to each and every region. Ah, <laughs> I remember Portal Bender Winden. He's a uh, cuckoo. Hey, who? Oh, my lung! It's flopping all over the dirt. <laughs> Yeah, get them out of my yard, hooligans. Uh, kind of be a, uh, kind of hard to be a hermit when people keep pestering you. Uh, please, I was hoping to speak to you. Has your isolation given you any insight I might benefit from? Never take raisins from rabbits. Never spit in a man's face unless his mustache is on fire. And don't take any wooden knickers unless you have a good supply of salve. <clears throat> Yeah, I see. Thanks for your time, but I'll be going now, quickly. I think he's just a... They added quite many of those in the vanilla game. Just a weird guys you run in with. I, I absolutely love the random shit. Sometimes. Especially in a apparently very boring regions like this one. Oh, hope you will me. Somebody's shooting well. Damn. Looks like uh, we got the goblins on. Oh, I hope goblins and uh, gobbles figure it out. <laughs> I just love the smack when they uh, get uh, totally destroyed. What you want? Holding the arrows. Uh, I guess she's uh, holding the bows as well, like, apparently. I've done had enough of this. It's probably actually smart to have many uh, bow users in your group. Because uh, arrows is pretty much the only ammunition you will find. They don't really drop bullets anywhere. Which is for the slings. But... Of course, the thing is that the mages cannot actually use bows, so... So, so, you are pretty much stuck with slings or darts or, I think, throwing knives. Uh, hmm, that's why the multi-class... Uh, multi-class uh, ma mages are so fun. Although, I don't think clerics can use uh, anything pointy uh, either. Let's actually double check. I feel so that they cannot use... yeah, they cannot use. Clerics and druids have a thing where they, they don't uh, use weapons with uh, edges, I think. I'm gone. Oh, that's a clear game, isn't it? Maybe they actually removed that from the game. Huh. Yeah, that's... That's actually interesting. I wonder if there are mods which use that as a game. It could be just a shadow, I guess. Yeah, there's nothing here. I'm not gonna waste my time. I'll go this last small area and we are done. Pretty uneventful stuff. I do hope I didn't walk past something uh, hidden because I didn't have this activated. Ah, <laughs> Lord's Forest Shadow. Well, don't you just add to the local coral. Quite smashing bit of trash. Uh, blah blah blah. See, he is from Neverwinter. Let's ask about that. And he's actually from Waterdeep and has some stupid stuff. Can we go there someday? Ah, Mitchell, it sounds like fun. Perhaps. Maybe if uh, 
We can continue in the Neverwinter Nights game. Yeah, probably not gonna happen. And yeah, let's just get get to Nashville finally. Father, I'm off to play. Have a fine day, dear. Uh, did you remember to wash your face? I did now. <laughs> <laughs> Kobolds are getting smart. With your hurried flight from Candlekeep barely behind you, the troubles facing the Sword Coast seem an unfamiliar blur to your fractured nerves. Gorai would not have you sit idle, however, and perhaps investigating local concerns will shed some light on your own predicament. How the iron shortage or the trouble in the Nashville mines could possibly be linked to you, you have no idea. Yep, absolutely no idea. So we are in the chapter 2 now. This way. There are certain things to pick up here. Which I will actually do. It was actually crazy that you couldn't uh, spot these uh, hidden items in the original game. They were such on easter eggs. I remember I read about this in a in a gaming magazine, which were popular back in the 90s. Oh, I'm full. I've done yeah. had enough of this. I'll do my best. So that's an Angek cell armor, which is or plate mail, I suppose. Which is absolutely well it's uh, it's very good. It's basically a plate mail that weights uh, is better. Uh, I think it's actually full plate mail. It doesn't say it here, but I think the armor class one is full plate mail, and it weights uh, only half of a plate mail. So it's uh, it's absolutely fantastic armor. Can we actually carry? I should get rid of some of this garbage. We don't need later. So one person. I think I will. I don't think this is worth much. <coughs> I'm kind of hauling it to sell it, but maybe I just uh, should just dump it. Yeah. Can somebody else carry it? Okay. This should work. I'm gone. We could use one uh, strength 18 guy in our group for sure. There just happens to be one on Nashville, but I. The thing is, I usually go with the. Uh, or I actually 100% of my games. With power two members, Imoen, Kali, Jahera, and Minsk, and Duna here, but. I kind of feel like I want to do something different here, so. So, so unfortunately, I don't think I will uh, go for Minsk. Yeah, I think I will uh, try some different party members. I mean, I love Minsk. He's uh, he's great, and Duna here is fantastic as well. But stand away, citizen. Bardolan, identify yourselves. We are part of Mitral, seeking to place uh, rest between adventures. We are in. No. I think this is the priest uh, or uh, monk. I will show yeah. you justice. That is the monk form from the enhanced oh, edition. You haven't seen a man about him. This tall and oh, this wide, have you? That loud. Sorry, haven't seen anyone. I will show you justice. Let's go to the shop. Back home, Puff Guts would always tell me a story. Welcome to my humble establishment. So he's interested in a, a white wolf skin. I'm gonna sell all these. There's no reason to actually 
hold on to them. I mean, I guess there would be some very specified quests where you need very specified items, by the yeah, or games. I'm gonna sell the studded armor. I will use uh, this splint mail as her backup. The magic armor or the anchor plate mail is, I think it's considered to be magic, so it doesn't break up, or it's not at least uh, steel armor. Uh, that letter we can actually return. Girdle gen gender is a is a cursed item, so I'm gonna sell it. It actually fetches a fairly good price. Uh, I think there's a quest for the Colquettles family amulet, so I'm hanging on to it. Oh, there's two of these. I could have actually put them in. A oh, I didn't mean to. And right there. Yeah, I should uh, remember to use the game back more, but I didn't. I don't need the axe. This is uh, one of the bounty notices. We can uh, sell it. And yeah, I'm gonna sell the chain. 37 gold. Uh, not really worth the trouble, I would say. What is he selling? We certainly don't need arrows. I should dump the quarter stuff as well. You cannot sell it, so you have to just dump it. We do have plenty of bullets as well. I could buy plate mails, but uh, the problem with plate mail is, yeah, this is armor class 3, so the anchor is actually full plate mail, which is even more expensive and more heavy, I suppose. This is twice the weight of uh, that anchor plate mail. But yeah, this has a chance of breaking down, so I don't know if I wanna invest 850 gold pieces on an item that could break down any time. Uh, pack of plenty though. Uh, this is basically unlimited sling of bullets, or sling bullets, uh, basic bullets. So... Uh, we don't really need it. And I guess this uh, potion case is actually gonna be very useful. Uh, these are added by mods, they are not in the vanilla game. But I believe they are uh, uh, something you might run into in these, uh, these uh, shops in a, if this was a paper and pen roleplay, maybe? I don't know. Actually never played. Paper and pen, AD and D. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna invest 1000 gold pieces on these. I don't think you can find these anyhow from anywhere, so it's gonna. It's expensive investment, but, but. But, I've done had enough of this. It might uh, be very useful in the long run. So we don't actually need the bullets anymore. I will give them to Nira and uh, the cleric, I suppose. This I'm just gonna throw away. I don't need it. We don't uh, have potions yet. But from my earlier experiment experience, I would say that the potions will come a problem in a... Uh, in in a... Uh, well, uh, probably in chapter 4. Glory of so we finally met the Major of Narskela, Berun Kaskil. And he recognizes Jahira with us, so what is exactly the trouble here? So uh, the iron sword is a problem, and Narskel mine produces bad iron, so we will go and check it, pretty much. Huh. I'm gone. Hmm, so this is the temple. I don't think there's much uh, reason to explore here. Oh, we can talk to uh, what's his name? Oblig. Oh, you have returned, and so soon. 
So Oblig uh, thinks that we are Grey Wolf in ca all caps. But uh, since we are honest folk, well mostly honest, I'm gonna say we are not this Grey Wolf. So we get a passive reputation increase. Guess we can peek into the garrison. Stand away, citizen! And they are very pissed, so we will get right out. This way. I've Here's the hero of the day, of Minsk. We won't pick him up. I will probably do the Minsk to Naher mission maybe after the Nashkel mines, who knows? But uh yeah, maybe there's no actual penalty for switching up your group, except that uh, your guys will miss some experience. But uh, there should be plenty of experience going around, so that's probably not that bad. Maybe I should uh, switch up my guys a little bit more often than now. <laughs> Alright. There's a baby wyvern He's actually pretty tough for our level. Unfortunately, we don't have that many spells. By your command. I care not. Okay, we don't actually have. We had only one spell. Problem is we cannot hit it, and uh, he actually has poison. But uh, luckily, Chahiro didn't get poison. We don't have anything against the poison yet. I think the poison stuff is level two spells, and Imon actually leveled up, which is nice because we will be finding some traps very, very soon, and I will put some in the open logs. If I remember correctly, the Nashkel mines are kind of full of traps, as uh, dungeons tend to be. Still quite a way to go for uh, Khalid. I would love him to have a, a little bit more experience. I'm gone. Or not, uh, no, not experience, but hit points. Uh, the Ivern's head were very... yeah, they are very heavy. heavy, heavy. Wow, and that graphics is not bugged at all. I just uh, constantly think that Minsk is so great because he can actually carry so much. So much for the whole team because he has strength 18. But uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take him. Not yet. Actually yeah, let's uh, let's go talk to the parents of that kid. I remember the quest now. I think uh, this wall area here is another recruitable mod added NPC, so I'm not gonna talk to her either. How are you? So. Lady and uh, uh, his husband are pretty pissed that we killed. Uh, well, yeah, we killed something. So I saved that boy from the uh, baby wyvern. That's nonsense. You traded my son. I swear I killed a baby wyvern. What? What is this talk person talking about? I your son, a baby wyvern. He's a pet grass snake, I repeat, baby wyvern. Oh. Under the circumstance, arrest, arrest. Baby wyvern. Baby wyvern. Baby wyvern. That's uh, basically how the discussion goes. We are innocent and then they tank us and... Yeah, we're fine. People are talking a lot yep. about it. I've done had enough of this. And yeah. 
might be just time to get to get to the mines. Maybe I will need a rest first. So I'm actually gonna go to the inn. And uh, I promised uh, Nera that 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 we will take a nap in the inn. Probably not. Uh, well, it's getting late, right? The sun is uh, going up, so. It may be a touch unladylike, but I'm gonna slit your throat. I am. <laughs> I love that line. So Nera is actually waiting us here. And she's some kind of priest. I seem to remember that I should try to interrupt her spells. And she had a casting failure. Okay, she's casting another spell. I don't think I can interrupt that one. Oh, I managed to do that just in time. The Wand of Magic Missiles is fast, but you still have... <laughs> third time. Yeah, that's working really well for us. Okay, he's doing another spell, or she's doing... That spell was so fast that... Uh, I couldn't interrupt it. Another fast spell, I assume. I'm gone. We actually used all of that wand. Oh, well. Didn't quite mean, but uh, mean to use the whole wand, but it happens. And the problem here is once again we cannot hit anything, so... It's just gonna be one of those fights. Neither of us can actually hit anything. Looking at the results. 16 miss is actually pretty bad. We are rolling like once, so... Oh, somebody actually hit. Six damage from Chahira. While the <laughs> exciting combat music goes on. Oh, my guy is actually... Oh, he's throwing rocks. Imoen hit for six damage. This is almost done. Come on. Yeah, finally. I'll do it. Another assassin uh, after me. Yep, everyone is talking about the assassins. Now that we actually finally got the club, which I've been meaning to buy forever, but I forget. Because Jahira actually has a plus two for clubs, yeah. So she will uh, hit more. It's uh, actually the damage is even better. 3 to 8 because of the provinces, so. That's a lot better thing. Alright, we are out of charges, so. No identification right now. Hmm, we have quite a lot of bo uh, health bottles. So... Yeah. I think we will take a nap. Now that we killed somebody and left their corpse there. I don't think I wanna haul off that splint mail. Oh, I should have sold this. I'm playing a, playing a little bit too careful. Oh, right, she had shield. I think I will put that on Jahira as well. So, that gives her one extra AC, making it zero. It's not quite as good as Khalid has, but uh, it's, uh, it's very solid. And you can actually throw that away. I don't, I don't want that anymore. Do you want to tell me a story about trollops and plug tails? 
Let's actually save. I'm gonna do my initial scan here. Uh, just checking out. I mean, what can I say? She's a narcoleptic. She has to steal even though she doesn't have to steal. Oh, that's a... well, okay. Oh, cold coins, huh? This is one of the classic entries into our inn. First we kill some random guy and... Then we <laughs> lose everything. Uh, well... Okay, too many people around, I'm not gonna go for that one. I've done had I'm gonna enough take a this. nap. Never had rats. No sorry. I'm gonna go with Noble. That should be enough to heal Khalid up. Oh! Right, Nero was actually waiting for the inn vision. So the man who filled up the tub wouldn't stop twitching after he tried to spy on me. Oh! <laughs> Can I help it if what he saw wasn't actually representative of reality at all? Oh dear, what did you do? I didn't do anything. Well, not intentionally anyway. Okay, maybe a little. Just an itchy bitchy teeny weeny, teeny tiny little illusion, that's all. It's not like I hurt him. Besides, he was peeping. He deserved a lot worse than what he got. He just got lucky. I was in a good mood or a hit. Have ended up with a tail or worse. Bunny ears. Okay, what did you make him see exactly? Suffice to say, he'll never look at a woman in quite the same way again. And let's leave it at that. <laughs> Not too many bedbugs either. Nice. Huh? I've enjoyed it as much as you have. It's nice to not to sleep on the ground every once in a while. It really is. I think I'm finally starting to get used to it, at least. My back doesn't hurt quite so much anymore. So that's a plus. The bedrolls help, I suppose. Uh, before you came along, I was literally just sleeping on the ground. Yeah, don't do it. Just take my word for it. Uh, that's just a... Uh, you know, sleeping on the ground thing is something you to. Yeah, something you do when you're a student, and after that you should not do it. It's my professional opinion. There's something slimy in my bedroll. Worms and honey, what? Get a look at in your face. All puff cuts never boggled his eyes, so... Oh, he mine. <laughs> you put this mess in my bedding? Sure I did, who else would? But why? Yeah? I had to settle the score what with your sucking me back in the candle keep. Some people would get so testy about a little prank. You clued my favorite bookmark to a volume of Netheris archaeology. You do realize... Uh, do you realize how rare those works are? If I had given up... Given you up to the monks, you'd uh, have felt a sore spot worse than uh, me losing my temper and throwing a wild bull. Uh oh. Yeah, well, I kinda thought of that. That's why I didn't dump anything in your book bag and went for your bed. Hey! Not a fun feeling? My hair, honey, and yuck. Now we're even. <laughs> Fast my feet and blankets while you suck your head. You do not dream often, <laughs> but tonight the visions are vivid indeed. Long have you walked, but now you find yourself back amidst the stones of Candlekeep. Your former home looms before you, but the gate is closed and barred. Over the walls there is a candle in your old room, but as the light goes out, the brick surrounding the window closes together. The very walls conspire to keep you at bay. A familiar voice startles you. Though it is calm and caring, you cannot go back this way, child. You must go on. Gorion forms before you. Though his image should be comforting, it seems but a shade of his living self. He is dead in your dreams, as in life. The phantom of your foster father gestures toward the blackness of the wood, as though it should be inviting. Perhaps it is, in a way, but the traveling will be hard. As you think this, 
a smooth and obvious path becomes clear out of the corner of your eye. It seems meant for you, pulls at your very being, and promises to quickly lead you away from the life you once led. Perhaps this would be for the best, but it is a bit too convenient for your liking. You do not wish to dwell upon the loss you have endured, but neither should it be forgotten. Gorion smiles and fades away. The pull becomes a push, but you turn away, steadfast in your new direction. The way is not quite as clear, but it is sure to be interesting nonetheless. A whisper follows as you stride away, something vestigial and sinister that you recognize, but yet have never heard. You will learn. You don't look back. Yeah, maybe we won't learn anything. So that's nice. We got a first uh, ball power thing. Okay, and you uh, is right away worried. Dream is it the word? A nightmare is more like it. Anything you want to talk about? Uh, we are tossing and whatnot. I guess I will tell her everything. Sounds kind of creepy. Okay, it's just a dream. What is it this time? What you want? So yeah, some of the boundary is actually very good. I, I really like that part between Finch and Moen. So this is the Infravision helmet, which actually does nothing. But uh, I mean, it's a helmet, so it. And it's a magical helmet, so it won't break down, but... Uh, these are elves, so they already have infravision, plus uh, the infravision in itself doesn't really do anything worthwhile. Wow. So yeah, this is a very good uh, move silently hide in shadow bonus. We don't really use uh, move silently, but uh, it's something the thieves could do. Yeah, you could uh, hide in shadows and go backstab people, but uh, I find that, that that to be just a little bit too much micromanaging. So you don't actually need a backup armor anymore. Finch does, uh, but... Uh, yeah, I don't think this guy actually saw I'm that again. No, yeah, only rooms, so... Let's, let's, let's uh, visit it's the wet. shop once again. I've done had enough of this. So we actually slept until it's uh, now 4 a.m. and we are just leaving. I'm gonna sell the leather armor. Oh, yeah, it's worth two gold pieces. Right, that's the one one thing I'm not gonna sell. Yeah, totally not worth the trouble. I'm gone. What else is there in Nashville? I don't think there's anything we need to do here Good right now. Well, actually, now that memory shows. And yeah, I could uh, probably replace uh, Finch with Rashad. He's kind of fighter, but uh, I don't really like the monk. Especially on the lower levels, so... I want something better. Means would be nice, but uh, then we need to do the whole Dunaher mission, and maybe I will do that after Nashko. Oh god, this mission. Yeah, I don't. That's one of those missions I'm not sure I will do. I guess I will. This should be locked, but we should be able to this way. get in. I've done had enough of this. And uh, there's actually a woman here, I'm so uh, we ask about the mines, and her husband is missing in the mines, and we promise to Back go home. on, take Our a look. Would always tell me a story. So. Yeah. I'm not gonna do this mission now. Maybe maybe sometime later. Maybe we'll talk to the Uber. Edwin is yet again one recruitable guy. I don't wanna mess with him yet. Hey yeah. 
So Nuber is a really annoying guy. He's gonna keep talking to us, yeah. so... And he's wondering if we want to throw a rock at him. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. What about now? I do hey, yeah. wonder if they <laughs> change it. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Okay, he finally ran out of things to say. And look at that, Finch got a level up from that experience. Extra spells, it's uh, the level one priest spell. That's nice. Another cool light ones. This way. Do we actually identify every item we have? I guess we did. Okay. Move, on. Move along then. So we are gonna hit the Nashkel mines. You Next have been waylaid by oh. enemies and must defend yourself. Oh, this one. Okay. Pale and well met. Well met, traveler. Traveler. <laughs> well, that's the nicest thing anyone has called me in weeks. We should kill that one last, Senjak. Such good manners. <laughs> what treachery is this? No, no, there's no reason for this to turn violent. Hand over your belongings and you may yet live. Uh, you'll need to, to be more convincing than that, brigand. Five against our party. The odds don't seem to favor you. You should listen to Senjak, friend. Perhaps you've noticed our associates who are even now aiming their arrows at your hearts. Raise a hand against us and they'll cut you down. Uh, hmm. If I die, I will at least take you with me. Now then, empty your pockets in. What's going on back there? This... This is impossible. Saint Jack! Toratia! I swore I would crush the life out of you someday. Today is that day. Dorn, you should be dead or rotting in a Luskin prison. How did you find us? I'm happy to see you, Dorn. Leaving you behind to take the blame was all Simeon's idea. He's the one you want, not us. Just following orders is a coward's excuse, Dorothea. And I haven't forgotten what you said when I refused your advances. What advances? She would never consort with a half-orc, especially when she has me. You haven't changed, Dorn. You're as stupid as you're ugly. Tell him, Dorothea. Senjak was the first to agree with Simeon. He always hated you. But you know I didn't feel the same way. Dorothea, what are you saying? Ah, Luz, of course. But the half-breed brute is too stupid for that to work. Men, rush them. Yeah, that's, uh... Senyak doesn't seem to be that smart either. You are both mewling cowards, turning on each other as easily as you turned on me. Half your men are already dead. You'll join them soon. And uh, he's not lying. It didn't have to be this way. We've beaten you before, Dorn. We'll do it again. Attack! I'm actually gonna go... Those guys, uh, yes, I need to back off. To ask. I've done had enough of this. Actually, call it you can go for this. Be a quick death. Shit. I'm gonna use the insta heal here. The problem with these arrow guys is that, uh, I'm gonna go melee because they can just shoot arrows when you are not, uh, melee attacking them. I care not. They will switch to melee if you go pressure them. Nature servant awaits. And, uh, yep. Melee guys are easier to control. Oh shit, Dorn is actually dying. Uh, huh. Question is, do I actually want to save her? Or him? I guess. I was hoping that spell would be enough to kill this guy. All the sleep. <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> Never does. 
Okay, let's focus fire. Maybe that's that's the best thing. Once again, those battles where nobody hits anything. Oh, well, then it's just over. You handled yourself well enough. You act surprised. As a rule, I do not rely on those who fight beside me. Perhaps you may prove an exception to the rule. Perhaps. What was that business with those two bandits? And who are you, anyway? My name is Dorn Il Khan. When I was settling an old score, I've been hunting those two for almost a year now. That's two down and two to go. Uh, when you struck them down, what happened? I saw some ghostly apparition up here. My powers are none of your concern, unless you are looking for a strong arm to join you. Uh, you're a black guard, aren't you? Very perceptive. I suppose you are full of questions about the source of my power. Don't bother. <laughs> So the thing is, he's actually evil, and as much as I wanted to, or I would want to have him with us, it doesn't fit us, uh, his evil, and uh, yeah. So unfortunately, I have to say that black girls always have one foot in the abyss, don't they? I think it would be best if I took my leave of you. Wait, are you... Uh, am I neutral? Uh, what if I am? I've heard of your prowess. Traveling with you might help my vendetta, and my powers could certainly help you. Hmm. Perhaps another time, Dorn. Hmm. You shouldn't make a habit of committing mistakes like this. They add up. If you change your mind, I shall be at the friendly army. Uh, the thing I hate about this is that uh, most of the evil characters are actually way more interesting than uh, most of the good guys. Although I have to say the game is actually exceptionally well, but the characters are exceptionally I've well made. Done had enough of this. So I guess there are good characters in both sides. Hmm. That's a potion of invisibility. I don't uh, have anyone who uses crossbows. But once again, uh, oh, a shield and blade mail, that's nice. And, uh,. Wakishashi? Yeah, I don't know how to pronounce it. Yeah, Wakishashi? <laughs> Something like that. So, you have the glasses, right? Hmm. I guess it's better than the normal shield. In, uh, the thing with small shields is that they don't actually protect against missile attacks at all, while normal shields does. So, that's kind of a thing, but in the end, I think it doesn't really matter. Let's give it to Jahara. So, I think the shields will break too because of the mod. I'm not 100% sure. And we are out of identifications. And oh, you don't need blade mail because you have the anchor, man. So, now uh, Jahara also has negative one, which is very, very good. She quite cannot quite carry two blade mails or splint mails, I suppose. Yeah, splint mail. But uh, this is actually very good. So Don would be probably a very interesting companion. I'm gone. But uh, yeah, maybe some other time. I should probably play a evil character once. That might be interesting. I've never done an evil runs because... Of, well, I don't feel like good <laughs> when I'm playing evil characters. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's enough for uh, this episode. And you're not, it is nice to enjoy the out of doors. Sure enough, uh, see you guys on the next one. See you there. Bye. You little monkey spiker. <laughs>